Okay, welcome back to the channel, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for uh, hanging out and learning all about piano and all the different stuff I do here on the channel. My name's Dustin Beck. I'm going to do tutorials. I do cover songs. I do my own original material. All my music-related stuff is on this channel, and I thank you for checking it out. Today, we're going to work on the Tom Waits song, Jockey Full of Bourbon. We're going to do the solo today and show you how that solo goes. So here's what we're going to be playing. Let's see. It starts like this. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I'm gonna. There's a little bit of a vibe going on, but the first things first, we're going to play this song is in E minor, E harmonic minor, as I explained in the intro video. So we got E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, and a D sharp, and an E. And mostly that D sharp is there because when you go to this five chord, you want to have that D sharp instead of the natural minor, D natural. E sharp, so it leads into our next one. All right, we're gonna use some out of key tones as well. But basically, it's the guitar solo from the middle. We're gonna try to get the groove of the song going with our left hand, and we're gonna try to play the guitar solo with our right hand. So, without further ado, we have the E going on in the bass, my big fat E's, and I like to do one, five. I love bass lines like this. Bass players love bass lines like this. And sometimes to get the groove, you kind of have to pop back and forth with both hands or even just. So we get like one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. So you kind of just a little bit before give a little lead in. So just watch the left hand here. So see, I got. Just a little bit of a lead in, and all we're gonna do is E and B over here, and when we go to the B chord, we're gonna go B and F sharp. And we're gonna go back to the E. So those are really the only two chords we're gonna use for this. We're gonna end on an A, because that's where the chorus comes in, but really for the whole solo, that's it. So for this one, we're gonna start on this E up here, and it's a pickup or a lead in. I usually say pickup. So our really the first beat of the solo, we're gonna have a B and an E. So we're gonna go E, E, G, A, B. And that's really where beat one comes in. So everything before that is, is the previous measure. So we go one, two, three, bum, ba, four, and one. Okay, so if we just work on that much right there, let's get that right. So we got the pickup of E, E, G, A, B, E, 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 B. Right, so we're really just bouncing back and forth between E and B. I think you got that, and the rhythm is really more felt than, than I could say it perfectly. So you just kind of get the vibe, and it's the trickiest part is getting the hands together. But the left hand is just keeping it steady, just like this. So you just keep that going. And then right when you hit that A, your left hand moves to that B chord here. So the chord changes and you hit that flat seven, and I like to roll it like that. Like. And notice the E's are kind of on the, on the opposite beats than my left hand. Right, left, right. You see what I'm saying? It's kind of, there's a little interplay there. Uh, and then when we hit that B chord, we go, we hit the, when we go to do the chord change to the B, we hit a B7 chord, so one more time. And then we do a little bit from the intro that we learned. We start on the G right here and walk it chromatically down. Just like that, G, F sharp, F, E. And those just happen to land together, but I'm still just doing this. 
And then I come up here, and it seems like we're going to do the same chromatic walk from the intro. But we're not going to do that. He comes down to this F sharp. So it's a little bit further. So the second half, here we go. And then we go all the way up to the top. Right? And then that's the end of that bit back on the E chord. So that part we got, we're in the, on the B chord. Chromatic walk down from G. Chromatic walk down from a uh, little bit, little walk down from C, different than the chromatic. And then all the way up to the E, still on the B though. Use that half step, fifth. And when I do that, sometimes I'll put in a couple extra notes. I'll either do the, the fourth there of the top of an E minor chord, or maybe I'll do it all the whole time to give it a nice full. Something like that. But you want to get the sense of this for sure. That's the melody you're looking for. And then, uh, so that's kind of the first half. So let's go over the first half one more time. Starts like this. Pick up. The off rhythms. Walk it up to the seven. Chromatic walk down. That's the first half. Now, once I get here, I like to slide down, give a little glissando. It's hard to, you're faking the guitar kind of, but you slide down and then you go back to those E and Bs that we were using before and you give a same funky rhythm. Well, a different rhythm, but once again, a funky rhythm. So here we go. Okay, so that whole bit on the E, you slide. And then we're using some half steps there. So we're using a little bit out of the key, but it's part of the blues scale. So we're traveling back and forth. Now all the way down to the F sharp, and that F sharp hits right when we move to the B chord. So one more time, uh, uh, end of the last measure. Right? And then we just, now I have my B chord outlined right there. We're going to walk, we're going to arpeggiate up. I'm going to do a little bit of the flat three to the three just to simulate the guitar that he does. But really, that's all there is. Boom, 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 boom. And once again, that Latin rhythm. Boom, oh, oh, oh. That's that same bass line that we learned from the intro. And then the very last one, this long run here, we go like this. come to the A minor chord to start the chorus again. Okay, so, so far from here, I'll go over that long run. One second, here we go. Uh. Funky rhythms, half steps to the B chord, Latin rhythm, walk up. And that's the end of the solo. So the last thing we want to do is that big long run, and really what you're doing is you're kind of running that E minor chromatic scale, but you're going to start on this five here. So I'm doing it in octaves. Uh, so we're, uh, anyway, let's start with the B. So the last beat of the, when you're still on the B chord, we start with a B, go to the C, half step up, come on down, all the way down the scale. Just like that. All the way to that, to that sharp seven to give us the pull back to E. And then we change chords to E. And then when we hit that last E there, we're gonna do an arpeggio up. So we're gonna go E, G, B, E, B, G. And then we're gonna end on an A to start the chorus after the solo. So we go B. And then that's the end. We're into the next chorus. So let's play the solo one more time. I want to thank everybody for coming and, and helping out and, uh, and learning from me. Uh, if you like what I'm doing here, please do subscribe. Let's see if I can nail that solo one more time. Fly away home. 
house is on fire, children all alone. Hey, little bit, fly away home. House is on fire, children all alone. 